Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at printing this off. Um, it's a clock, a desk clock stand, actually, or body that I found on Thingiverse. And one of the things, I've got a bit of fascination with clocks. Uh, one of my other hobbies is actually what I refer to as time domain physics, where I experiment with, well, uh, mathematically anyway, you know, the concept of relationship of, of time and space. And because, you know, we know uh, relativity. And if you watch the movie Interstellar, how great gravity affects time and space. But anyways, that's for another podcast, I think another time. But the idea is, is I thought this was really a cool clock. So it was a cool design body and everything else. Now, um, I had printed this out in PLA with some cheaper Chinese filament that I'd gotten from Amazon. I paid about 17 bucks for 2.2 kilogram uh, rolls of it. And I bought a bunch of it because it's 17 bucks. But this stuff... Ah, you know, it doesn't finish the best like uh, the 20 the, the something roll filament does, but it, you know, it's good for knock around. So I've got some poor extrusions on the front here, which I'm not overly happy with. And also, somehow, um, you know, some of the black got into this uh, from the extruder, which is kind of interesting because prior to this, I had printed part for the turbine project utilizing that printer. And also, the thing is, you notice that this. Um, circular piece here is also color wise embedded in the yellow it's not stuck on there where it scrapes off or anything it's actually like silly putty and lifted it um, because this was uh, I guess on the, the, the I use a PEI bed and I clean it with alcohol between uh, prints you know to keep the adhesion and keep it sticky but for some reason, it's kind of really weird it lifted it like I say a silly putty but uh, I think you guys will get the idea so now, what I've done is, I've went out and got a clock motor, and I want to kind of show this. So I've got, I've got, um, put this up here, went out to Hobby Lobby and got these. And one of the pieces I do want to point out is, is you want to get one where either it doesn't have this hanger piece or the hanger piece is removable because some of these have a hanger piece that is is molded in there and what happens is it'll hit the top of the uh, body so you want to get ones like these that where this is removable and then what this fits does is fits inside here sticks through there like that and then what you do is you take a retaining washer and then um, you know a nut and then screw this on here and just like that and then kind of square up the body in the back it takes a it takes just a double a regular double a battery and then what you do is put the hands on now what I did I'd like a bit more modern look these come with smaller ones so I've got these hands and actually what I'm going to do is in a future video I'm going to show you how to actually make your own hands so you can do some custom work but I tell you what, um, this this front really really bothers bothers me. So I decided to solve this problem. How did I do that? You ask, and I think this is kind of neat. So let's cut over that way and take a look. Okay, so we took a quick look at that time lapse, and that's how I solved it. Actually, one of the things I went off and did is I found this globe um, sort of relief on Thingiverse, and it was kind of large, so I downscaled this uh, both in size and thickness. So I made it three three millimeters thick. And the cool idea about this is um, that I like and that I want to share about this is you can create all kinds of different faces for this uh, clock. So in this case, you know, I've created um, a global map. You could do a Christmas tree. You could do your kid's name. You could do a picture of somebody. It doesn't really matter. And you can change it with the seasons and, and put it on the front here. And you get a whole new look each time you do it. So I thought this was kind of neat. So I'll put this up on Thingiverse with this. Um, and you see, I've now put the hands on the clock and you can see the second hand moving. So this actually came out rather nice. And so um, you can kind of you sit down and, and the stability is amazing. It's very well balanced. You won't have any problem with this sitting up. And, uh, and again, you know, part of this channel is to talk a little bit about 3D design. 
And the way that they've cantilevered this and then balanced it with this other piece uh, is very, very cool. It makes it very, very stable. And you also notice the offset back here that they that they did. Um, again, did a very nice job at balancing so it sits on the table. And it's actually pretty hard to tip over. So I really like this. I definitely give this design a big thumbs up. And I think you can do it in different colors. And this kind of has really inspired me in a couple different ideas. So you probably see a, di a few different clock videos coming out. And hey, I've got a bunch of clock modules to work with. So heck, why not, right? Um, but I really like this. So I'll put the link down below. And uh, I'll also put this out on probably Thingiverse or Tinkercad too. So if you want, you know, the globe, globe relief, I'll spit that out. You can get that. Now, remember... This has got to be about three three millimeters thick or less, um, because that's just the perfect size. Let me get it up here by the camera for this to come through and catch this nut and give you enough to put the washer on, as, as well as the nut. Now, what you could do is you could probably recess this a little bit also. Now, I did this, you know, very thin infill, almost I think like five percent uh, single shell. It doesn't have to be a lot because obviously it's taking no weight. It's totally cosmetic. Um, I think the other thing you could do is again, I think you come up with all kinds of really cool schemas for this. I'm, I'm really excited about this because you could do one with numbers. Again, you can do one with Christmas trees, pumpkins. You can you could change it out for holidays. Um, and again, I would do it with a little bit nicer um, plastic than this this cheaper Chinese stuff that I did. You know, the PLA came out really really nice. Um, there is a little bit uh, of banding. It might have been done in Tinkercad or OpenSCAD, but the number of functions around um, the outside, not functions, but um, I forget what they're called. The, you know, it's FN in, in OpenSCAD. Uh, to create the circle is a little bit noticeable and here too. So it would have been nice if that would have been a little bit more rounded uh, with a higher number. And I, what I might do is actually redesign this a bit um, in OpenSCAD to be higher resolution because uh, outside of that this is almost commercial quality. And again, uh, definitely you can you know create this to sit on a desk or, or something like that. So hey, hopefully you found this build interesting. I know I did. I had a lot of fun doing this. I love doing clocks and things like that and, and functional 3D printing. And this is definitely it. So hey, if you found it interesting, uh, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel a lot more. You got questions, hit me up below. And uh, as we start moving towards the holiday season, one of the things you might notice in the upper corner, I've got a shop where I have a number, it's, it's fulfilled through Zazzle, but um, I do a bunch of my own t-shirt designs and mouse pad designs and all these graphic designs are my designs. And again, if you're looking for something unique, hey, you know, check it out if you're a maker. I've got for CNC, laser, 3D printing. So a lot of cool stuff as we're coming into the holiday season, uh, either a gift for yourself or another maker. Um, you won't be disappointed and hey if you got something that you're that you want sort of customized and then, well not really customized but if you want to you know something that's a little bit unique let me know and be happy maybe to design it up and put it out on the store because others will most likely be interested too so hey anyways uh cheers and we'll see you in the next video please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects